Albert Einstein, Winston Churchill, and Dale Winter from Supermarket Sweet. Who inspires you? you know, I, I think that you have to flip that around. You see, I inspire others, mentally, physically, but preferably both. You taught me everything I know about science, politics, and how to do your shopping in record time. I show what can be achieved through exercise and a balanced diet. Basically, just not all crisps. I shop for gunge mainly when I go shopping. Yeah, the only problem is when you put the gunge in the shopping trolley, is it tends to fall through the gaps. Very inefficient, really. And of course, regular bowel movements. You see, consistency is the key. I actually keep a chart. I made him a spreadsheet. Tuesday mornings are usually eventful after curry Mondays, but we usually have to introduce fibre towards the end of the week. Yeah, I was in Tesco's the other day. I asked this person behind the counter, you know, can I put my guns in your bag for life? They cut my clunk card. XTV presenter Dave Benson Phillips is a keen user of social yes. media. Social media is a keen user of him. Unpopular vlogger Ryan Martin is less popular due to his problem of unpopularity. Look, people are spelling my name wrong. They're supposed to put Ryan hashtag Rhino Martin, but they're putting Ryan hashtag Rhino Martin. I mean, how do you think I cope? I mean, you know, Dave Benson Phillips. I get hyphens chucked at me willy nilly. Yeah, sometimes a solitary L. And after that, I have to deal with an extra P, increasingly more as I get older. Benson Phillips, be ready for the mop. Greatest man who ever lived. Greatest gun show there ever was. After Noel's house party. Let's have a party! With a Spice Girls theme. Why do you always... Look, Baby Spice is not going to come, especially after you said that poem. You're not reading it, Darren. Not again! Okay, right, the one that wins is the one that brings the most guests down. Yeah, like, like old media meets new media. Yeah, except, uh, but you're not coming. Okay, people, this is how it's gonna go down. Dave is gonna phone up the old gang whilst our Ryan Snapchats the kids. We're gonna get together and party so hard it's gonna make the fun house look like a morgue. Before then, we're gonna preheat the ovens, get the pizzas in, get some Prosecco up to a third of the price, of course, and then once that happens, it's gonna be wild. Okay, time starts now. Just like old times. Yeah, so that is how I'm going to win this whole pot. Oh, here's Dave. Dave! Dave, you're so going down, Dave. Hey, time to crank it up! Excuse me. Wait. Is he running off? He's running. Oh no, you don't, Dave! Party tonight. Come if you are verified. Sick. In the cool way. I'm not anticipating doing any actual cleaning. And if you did, you'd be required to clean as you go. Hello there, yes it's me, it's the Dave Meister General here calling the CBBC gang, you know, the cool big boss cats. <laughs> Hello? Too busy for Prosecco and pizza. This from the man who used to play Mr. Blobby. Paul's a maybe, and Barry's at Zumba class. Ah. Oh. A CBBC party ain't a CBBC party without the Chuckle Brothers. Si mi hombre llama, estás ahí al segundo. A menos de que yo esté en clase de Zumba con Paul y o Barry. Entonces David me espera a mí. The fan club would be there in a shot. Just my nan said I had to do the washing up. Come for maybe like an hour or... Yeah, okay, yeah. That's, that's fine, yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever, it's cool, yeah, I'll see you, see you in a month, like a, a month or something. <laughs> you know what, most of my mates, yeah. they're like me, they're just far too cool to come to some party. Oh, Darren, you, you're such a loser. This is your one guest, the work experience guy. I don't see any of your mates turning up, Dave. Yeah, let's have a... It's a big box. Someone is at the door. A door Dave Benson Phillips will open. Hello? Hydroxyethyl cellulose. 
Um, former TV up. presenter Dave Benson Phillips and formerly popular social media star Ryan Martin are hosting a party with a mystery guest who follows one of them. They hope this means on Twitter rather than in the street. So, uh, what's your name then, fella? Splish. Splish? Splish? Birth name Robert Brown. Splishboy99 is my Twitter handle. Name that really captures my soul. And my uh, interests. How did you say you found the address? Well, I just looked up the address for some of Dave's registered companies. Uh, Pottery with Dave Benson Phillips. Tantric Pleasure with Dave Benson Phillips. Mountaineering. Up to a height of 250 metres. With Dave Benson Phillips. Yes, I've uh, been to all of your live shows. Uh, Every one. So it's fair to say that you're one of my fans. <laughs> See, I win this round, boy. I have a special interest in hydroxyethyl cellulose. What? Gunge. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, a nice bit of concentrated gunge on the cheeks after a bite ride certainly helps out with the chafing. Yeah. Oh, oh no, please don't make me. It's a very versatile substance. Uh, Use it to make apple sauce. Tried smoking it. Even Granny Smith would say it's golden delicious. <laughs> it's good, no? No. Are you getting gunged tonight, Ryan? Um, no. Mr. Benson Phillips only gunges the unjust. <laughs> Shame. Splish likes to see guns used outside of Get Your Own Back. I grew up with Dave Benson Phillips and Get Your Own Back. Not literally. My own family insisted on raising me. And a television studio, packed with a live audience, is no place to bring up a child. Dave, Darren and Ryan continue their intimate gathering with Splish. <sighs> um, me. Do you want to like say that again? You missed my face? Me, feature? Splish will save that photograph for his yep. private use later. Splish has a song. Awesome. Yeah, I, I love songs. Well, you know what? I'm actually really talented. Yeah, if a record company heard me singing in the shower, I'd be number one before I'd finished with the shower jet. In it. Sorry, in it. I was swearing. I didn't mean to swear. Oh, we could sing it now. Splish, splosh, oh my god. Or perhaps we could not. Unlike the item in Splish's hand, this was not a party that was pumping. Dave, do you have a hydroxyethyl cellulose chamber? You what, fella? A special slime system. Come again? A sticky cubicle. What? A gunge tank. <gasps> oh yeah, we've got one of those. Yeah, we uh, we took out the shower for it. Yep, yeah, it's it's upstairs actually. You could go and take a look if you like. Un día entro a lavarme el cabello y acto seguido estoy cubierta de pegoste. Nice guy. Do you know what? I think that he could be my new best friend. Uh, Ryan, uh, do you want to come with? It's just, you know, some things are better done in pairs. Sure. Do you like custard? Love it. I was always taught to help people in trouble. But it's a laugh, in it? <laughs> The crew are secretly filming Dave's shower that has been retrofitted into a gunge tank. Yeah, so uh, you just pull that lever and you're ready to go. Uh, stay. I'll pay you. That's £20. A bada bing, bada boom. These people are known as splitters. Underneath the towel is Ryan Martin. Overneath the towel is Dave Benson Phillips. Next beneath the towel is work experience boy Darren. Up beneath the towel and stairs is Splish, a man obsessed with gunge. I'll pay you. Splish has just paid Ryan £20 to cover part of his face in gunge. Ryan has not twigged the full extent of Splish's satisfaction from that event. It's like this. The world is a big place and lots of people like 
lots of different things. Yeah, and he likes me. That's cool. I'm looking to expand my fan base. I've got a pack of shirtless selfie printouts, if that's his thing, for 9 99 well, we'll call it a tenner for good measure. Yeah, but there are some people out there who really like to see others gunged. Yes, and that's what your show is all about, Dave. Not just in the game show context. Look, come here, lads. People like your friend Splish. They really like to see people gunged. I mean, look, look, he likes you, but he'd like you even more if you were wet and slimy, okay? These people are known as sploshers. Dave Benson Phillips accidentally introduced sploshing to the mainstream when he mistakenly retweeted a not safe for work link whilst promoting his live show. And then, and then they, they, they just sort of sucked it all out with a straw. A hard lesson was learned. How did I get started? <laughs> well, one day I uh, had some custard on my rhubarb crumble. I saw the way it wobbled, felt its slimy, gungy texture. Then I realised that's what I needed to make my rhubarb crumble. What? So he doesn't fancy me unless I'm covered in gunge? Well, that's ridiculous and he's ruined my hair. It, he's got it back to front and quite frankly, it's just rude. Did he gunge you? Well, he clipped my ear, but I made 20 quid. That would help with the bus fare, actually. Uh, Darren, he might be a perv, but he does have standards. Premier League, Sunday League. Splish has been in Dave's bathroom for over 20 minutes. Uh, are you all right in there? Fine, thanks. Are you taking a shower? In gunge? Sure am. Wouldn't miss an opportunity to bathe in the sweet stuff. Get rid of him. Team. Get ready. Cut the power, cut the gun supply. It'll be like taking away smack from a heroin addict. <laughs> oh yeah, except um, don't do drugs. Especially not heroin, that's the most bad one. Yeah, but if you are going to, do the more simple ones. You see, me and Darren once went to this place called Holland and, and Barrett. Yeah, and we picked up some vitamins. Yeah, and then we had one each, two cans of lemonade and a cup of tea, and we both threw up in a bin. Mainly because we've been spinning on our heads for four hours. Yeah. Even though the teacher told us not to. She gave us a detention, oh. and I didn't even concentrate. Yeah. Oh, listen, will you two just shut up? Dave Benson Phillips has switched off the power and drawn all the curtains to draw out his oh. gunge-hungry guest. Could have stayed in there all night. Yeah, I gathered that, fella. You know, I once sat in a bath of custard for three days. Do you know why I got out? No. Why? Neither do I. Look, you've had what you paid for. Oh, I don't judge anybody, me. Nah. People like Splish come in and see my live shows. They pay their money. And bada bing, bada boom, Mrs Phillips gets herself a new fridge freezer. The group continue shining torches, even though it's daylight. Oh, what a time to have a power cut. <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, it really was um, um, lo lovely to, to meet you. Well, uh, I've had a wonderful time. Uh, maybe we can make this uh, a regular thing. I'm free most Tuesdays uh, uh, and the rest of the week. Uh, anyone be up for a group gunge? Uh, Ryan? Dave? I I'll do it for a £10 weekly bus ticket. Ryan, Dave. See you, fella. Allow me to get you the door. I feel really dirty. Oh, I'll see Dave again. Yeah. Uh, next live show. And uh, Ryan. Well, most definitely Ryan. Splish was banned from the fan club in 2007. Fat of guns went missing. Capital offence. Dave and Ryan conclude their party did not go to plan. This whole thing has been a disaster. <laughs> I bought me a 
We'll talk it, but you seem to have the lights back on. <laughs> oh. Can I do my song now? Split! Next time. We know how to make a home movie. David! It's time for the uh, playground stop. <laughs>